it's time for some real education. Jacob Epstein was an American and British artist who helped usher in the era of modern sculpture. Born in 1880, he moved to England in 1902, where he died in 1959. His work often challenges preconceived ideas about the proper nature of public art. Yeah, and he's really an interesting artist. Again, another one of those artists we don't think about anymore. He's not that much covered in the schools. Uh, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that he's white and, 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 and male, and uh, who knows. But uh, he was a very interesting artist and, he did, artist, and he did do some spiritual sculptures. So I'd like to take a look at the one we're going to talk about today. This is St. Michael's victory over the devil. This is the famous story about how Michael the archangel defeated the, the, the devil, Satan, in one-on-one -on -one combat during the revolt of heaven, where Satan took one-third of the rebel angels, put them against the two-thirds of God and his angels, and you had this great battle for, for the, the kingdom. It was never really a battle. God was never in danger of losing it, losing it uh, but Satan engaged, Satan, Lucifer became sa Satan with this fall. Now, this is a really interesting sculpture. It's very well done. St. Michael's victory over the devil. It's a 1958 bronze sculpture by Jacob Epstein displayed on the south end and east wall out of the New Coventry Cathedral. It symbolizes victory of good over evil and depicts a, uh, depicts a typically winged angel with a spear standing with arms and legs spread above the bound figure of the horned devil lying supine. This larger than life statue stands 25 feet high with the angel's wings spread 23 feet across. For the face of the angel, Epstein made busts of his daughter's two husbands. Lucian Freud and Wynne Godley, and selected Godley as his ultimate model. The angel's body may be inspired by Epstein's 1944 statue of Lucifer, now available at Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. The features of the devil may be based on a distorted version of Epstein himself. The sculpture was one of the last major works of art completed by Epstein before his death. It was cast in bronze and unveiled at the cathedral in 1961 by Epstein's widow Kathleen. And it is a very sweeping uh, uh, image here. You see the horned Satan chained and uh, powerless while the power of might right and goodness stands unfurled, spread wide. This is a banner of liberation. This is liberating heaven from uh, wicked angels. For, for, for the first time, heaven knew, knew what sin was, liberating heaven from sin, purging heaven of evil that would overthrow justice. Uh, it, the, the, the angel Michael in particular here is a remarkable figure with his sword, with his towering wings, with his confidence, and ultimately his self-assured victory over evil. It's a sign of hope that brings joy to people to this day.